Let's discuss. again with another reaction video and today I will be checking out a new track from Red Hand of Denial's album which has just come out at the time that I'm filming this. The album is called I'd Rather Be Asleep. The song that I'm going to check out is Carbon Copies. I've talked to a few of my friends. Thank you very much to my friends Fishy and Kieran who have listened to the album. This was a song that they both mentioned as being one that would be good for a video so here we are. Father Said was definitely my favorite of the singles I listened to. I didn't listen to, I think there was one single that came out after that that I didn't listen to and saved for the album. So I won't be doing a full album video just because there is so much stuff right now, but I'll probably do at least two videos for this album, I believe. So that's where we are at right now. Carbon copies for this video. I will link all of Red Handed Denial's social media and anything I can find for merch or physical copies, if I can, will be in the description as well. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. We're serving to bring Red-handed denial, carbon copies, let's discuss. I can see why this would be a track to definitely do for a video. It's got energy, it's got... Also, what really sticks out to me is how seamless it is for 
that switch between like poppy sounding clean vocals that sound really good and some of the style that she has like there was one big note towards the end uh, that had a little bit of I don't know I would call it like flavor at the end of it stuff like that but then so seamlessly like when I was talking about those lows as well the uncleans just on a different level I would say too because I haven't I've listened to a number of red-handed denial tracks but I haven't really like you know, gone. Father said is the one that I've listened to the most for sure. After that came out and I did that video, uh, it went on repeat for me. That chorus being so catchy, and then what I'm talking about, like how seamlessly it's just, it goes to like something heavier, but also beyond the vocals, uh, the guitar work with Red Hands of Denial, I love. You're getting riffs throughout this that are that are stand out, but also like if you pay attention where that solo comes in and the riff that you're getting as at the same time um, stuff like that the balance there between that style that they're because the, with father said i would say you you sort of get that same uh, balance or mm, that's not the word i'm looking for uh, you get the the same feel though where you're able to see both of those sides so similar to how lauren's vocals can can kind of hit either way uh, they're able to really open up their instrumentals to match that uh, which is really important because if the band, you know, can't really like adapt the way the vocalist can, it, it, the, it's not gonna do anything if the band's not able to like adapt to that style, if it makes sense, but perfectly they can do that. And then also like I was talking about in the chorus beyond just guitar and drumming on this track as well, uh, there was a few times with the cymbal, there was also the end of one verse, I can't remember where it was, where there was like just a fun little, I don't know, just yes, very solid all around, but uh, beyond like your your instrumentals that you're hearing there, uh, in that chorus and towards the end of the, the track, uh, you're hearing more. It's very full instrumentally. Uh, I talk a lot about that when I can hear that. I love that sound. When it's, you know, done well like this, especially mixed in with like the style of riffs in this, in this song and such. So for me, I will put this on. I do think that this probably will go on repeat for me, but through this album, there will probably be some tracks that I will like a little bit more because with Father Said being like, you know, the song that has really stuck out to me the most with Red Handed Denial, I would say yeah, there's probably some older ones that do just about the same or, or a bit more, but regardless of that, uh, this will be one that goes on, but I feel like this will probably be the album that I start doing more listening to Red Handed Denial too. so I'm going to listen through all the way. I'll definitely let you all know if I don't make a video for it what my favorite track is off of it and such, but I'm excited to check out more off of it. When I do the next video or the last video that I plan on doing for this album, I'll give an idea. I'll do make sure I listen to the rest of it before, and then I'll sort of do like an overview of what I thought of the album so that though I'm not doing a full album reaction, my thoughts will still be out there since... I just couldn't get to everything that came out uh, on this release day. So those are my thoughts after listening to this one. So I'm very excited to see what else is on the album. I'll probably talk a little bit more about this track whenever I do some more Red Handed Denial. So let me know what you thought in the comments, what your favorite tracks have been off of the album. And other than that, you will find all of Red Handed Denial's social media and such in the description of this video, as well as my link tree, which will have the invite for the Discord server which I talk about in every single video. The Discord server has a bunch of really kind people. We've got a community that talks about music-related stuff, talks about non-music related stuff like pets, games, PCs, such like that. So if you're interested in coming to join, check that out. That will be there as well as my Instagram profile link where I do post all music-related content. I post a chart every Friday of what I've listened to the most over the course of that week. Singles, albums, EPs, just depends on what I've been listening to. I post my never-ending merch collection. I'm constantly getting in more merch, flags, vinyl, sweatshirts, t-shirts. I just have a lot of merch, so I post usually once or twice about that. Sometimes about shows, if I've been to shows recently, and have pictures or videos to share, which I have some great ones coming up, stuff like that. So my handle on there is the same as my YouTube channel. It is Rachel Reacts. But again, I will have it in that link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.